Thanks for staying with us. Last month, Mayor Fiala proclaimed March 10th as Bringing in the Chef Day. It was in recognition of a special event coming to the community center on April 12th that focuses on cooking and good food and healthy eating habits. And to talk to us about that today is Anaya. <laughs> uh, people may have heard you on various radio programs around the community. Correct. And you've been in here before kind of putting together different events and things are going on. And you've been working with the mayor on uh, this event, Bringing in the Chef Day. So what exactly is, well, welcome to our program again. <laughs> first thank of you. all. Thank and, you. And what exactly is Bringing in the Chef Day? Well, as you mentioned, well, first of all, you know, like I like to do, I like to thank the community and just, you know, such a pleasure of coming back and being in your presence, Ed, as well as PSL Living. And um, Bringing in the Chef Day is actually to bring forth a difference in our community as far as getting our ethnic groups together, Caucasian, Asian, Haitian, Jamaican, all the flavors of the community together. And we're recognizing this as bringing in the Chef Day because it's bringing in top chef Ron Duprat. And you may have seen him on Bravo TV, on Food Network, on Spike TV, Bar Rescue, and these different types of programs as he brings forth a dynamic to the communities because of his story and his background. So that's what bringing in the Chef Day, again, it's highlighting top chef Ron Duprat. Now, he didn't make it to the 50,000 and hundred thousand dollar grand prize but in my eyes in a lot of people's eyes he is a winner so he's gonna be a nationally recognizable chef that people correct. have seen correct and uh, I guess they have a way these chefs of just get, getting their gathering of people who really like them and follow them and correct and he's coming here to our community center. yes wow. yes and as you mentioned people have heard me on the radio I mean I've been on 89.9 FM I've been on 1400 AM discovering your power I've been on um, Haitian radio programs because I am Haitian American you know and what we do is we highlight different people in our communities and you know again it's across the board but with Top Chef he was actually one of my main guests on several of my radio programmings and it was such a phenomenon because actually we got you know together during a very tragic time during the earthquakes of Haiti and when we got together on the phone and we communicated to the community that this is who this is what he's working towards he's a humanitarian and people follow him again because of his great great, you know, cooking skills, but he is just a wonderful person as well. And so I guess this time there's an emphasis, be one of the reasons behind the proclamation was mm -hmm. to bring attention to healthy eating habits, particularly with kids. Yes. And uh, you've mentioned that uh, the chef do Duprat, Duprat uh -huh. has been involved in uh, First Lady Michelle Obama's healthy eating campaign. Yes, yes. Uh, and so I guess is he going to be focusing on that subject while he's here at, Correct. at the community center? Correct. Yes, he's going to be focusing on community um, living as well as the, you know, getting the attention out there about obesity and how different foods, you know, target different types of, you know, illnesses and things like that. And when, you know, he was working with Michelle Obama on the Let's Move initiative, that just blew my mind because I'm like, wow, this man has overcome so much already and now he's like with him you know the president's first lady and he's just doing all this awesome work so it, it just it blew my mind so that's another major part and that's why I got you know the different schools involved you know to try to see how we can help the young people you know and address their different eating habits and actually Ed if I can share that there's gonna be different communities involved in this so it's not just here at the Port St. Lucie Community Center that he's gonna be at so he's gonna be at several places he's making his way around oh yes he and is. so people can come to this. It's open to the public. Correct. And he's going to talk. Is he going to cook? He's going to be cooking and he's speaking. Share some food. Yes, correct, okay. correct. Now I'm not things. saying a five course meal for everybody, but you know whatever we can do to help people sample and help people, you know, garner the attention of getting back on healthy eating while you're getting this different variety of foods. So we're just making it very friendly and open to the people. And of course, if you know, I don't know if I can mention the funding or things of that nature. If there was a whole lot of money, we'd be able to do five course meals. Sure. But he as a chef he has done that you know he has gone into communities and that's another thing that got my attention Ed these chefs they're able to go into different sectors and different communities and they're able to prepare five course meals for private settings and private you know corporations entities etc where they are able to share like all their different foods and everything now that's something I'm targeting for in the future but for right now if God opens a door we can do that but again we'll definitely be able to let people sample and hear him well, speak. You get a little sample of something he may 
makes you get an idea, you think of something different to try. Exactly. People who like to cook can try it on their own and yes. maybe have something new uh, and healthy that they can do. Correct. So uh, April 10th, uh, I'm sorry, April 12th, uh -huh. what are the hours? 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here in the Port St. Lucie Community Center. You guys know where it is, but if you don't, it's like right around the corner here off of, isn't it off of? Arroso Boulevard. Arroso Boulevard. Right across Boulevard. the street from right. City Hall. Correct. I'm thinking Bayshore real quick, but yes, right across the street and we have the big room available and you know thank God it has a major kitchen and I just want to say that I am so thankful for all the people who have been behind this effort I couldn't do any of this on my own of course I always give praise to God and then also all the people who have stood with me in regards to this endeavor and we will be sending them special thank yous as well well it's got city council support there's a proclamation uh, the idea of eating healthy and then getting kids to make good food choices is, yes. is always a good thing always a wonderful thing and we're getting another proclamation as well Ed over at um, the Martin County um, you know community as well because again if it's okay if I can share he'll sure. be at several different places in the Treasure Coast you know as a part of doing what I do I always like bringing communities together I'm from New York so we always work with all the boroughs etc so for me this is almost like a borough situation we have Indian Town where he will be speaking at we have the Stewart Library where it's actually the Blake Library so he'll be in Stewart doing that and then he'll be here in Port St. Lucie and then Fort Pierce. We always have to go back to the community of Fort Pierce at Powell Park. You know our favorite place. <laughs> We've been there before. Sure. So yeah, those are the so different places. So if you miss places. him in one place, you can catch him in somewhere else. That's correct, because he will be traveling throughout our treasure coast. Oh great, Chef Ron Duprat, and uh, we'll be looking for him to get more attention out there and make his way up more in cooking channels. Yes. Maybe we'll be hearing more of him in other places. Correct, and you know he has a cookbook, My Journey of Cooking, and he's working on his second one, Ed, and this is something that the community can actually participate in. He'll be bringing those books as well, and just to let the community know, he's not just well-versed in cooking and speaking, he's actually well communicating throughout the communities of the wine sector as well. He is now the Black Elk Wine Ambassador, so this man is just doing some amazing things, and he's coming here to our community. Would you? Wow, Very could could you imagine? Wow. Bring it in the chef day. Good to have a, a good chef uh, known and uh, doing good stuff. Correct. If anybody wants to know a little bit more, how can they find out more about this? Well, you know, you guys, my phone lines are always open. Um, contact me, 772-985-5508. Again, I'll say it slower, 772-985-5508. And, um, and if anybody has other questions, I'm pretty sure the community center has, you know, some availability. I'm not telling you guys to go and hound them, but they will have that information disseminating because um, I think as a part of this initiative, you know, they do put some of the information out there and things of that nature and there'll be flyers in the community as well sure. oh and then Ed we did a video I don't know if you know that could be plugged in as well but we have a video promo one of my producers from my former um, TV station worked with me on this project which is Freedom Entertainment Group on YouTube so just check that out and I mean you guys will be so you know intrigued to find out that we plugged in the last interview I did with you Ed you're all over the place and uh, we plugged it right into the project that I'm doing now and people will get a, a highlight of past events future events events and much more. Just trying to get the word out there about what the city is doing. Exactly. Well, great. Anaya, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to the event April 12th at the Community Center. At the we Community hope Center. Be out there. I hope so, guys. You definitely don't want to miss this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ed. You're sure, awesome. You're, you're very welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Great. We will be right back after this quick message, so stay with us.